Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to my camera test today. Finally got my GoPro for my helmet. Got it on the helmet, looking out through the windshield and what have you on the Riker. And in the top left-hand corner, then I've got my uh, my uh, what is that thing? Oh, Acacia. <laughs> trying to remember what I had there. Uh, the Acacia uh, Brave Seven. My uh, camera, you kind of see it just over that convex uh, mirror there that I've got on my windshield. And uh, it's taking the pictures in the top top uh, left-hand corner. Now, as you can see from the GoPro, uh, we're bounced around quite a bit. I'm on my favorite stretch, a rough road up in the north end of the Grand Ronde Valley and uh, up the towards the end of Hunter Lane. In fact, we go right to the end of Hunter Lane, at least the paved part of Hunter Lane. And uh, you can see how much the Rikers bounce around. We even get bounced around even more here uh, as we, we get further down the road. But what I'm liking, what I'm seeing is, is the, the camera mount that I have on my helmet and the GoPro with its stabilization, picture stabilization, is working out real well. Uh, yeah, the, Riker's bouncing around, and every once in a while I'll get bouncing pretty good too. But for the most part, I've got a real nice, steady picture going, and a, and I'm really impressed with the colors too. It, the colors really pop on that GoPro. I'm I'm kind of happy with them. And then uh, there, the top uh, left-hand corner, like I say, I've got uh, the uh, the Casio Brave Seven there, and the uh, colors a little different. Picture's a little different. Um, Maybe not quite as crisp as the gro glo <laughs> GoPro. Boy, I'm having a heck of a time with that word. GoPro camera, um, but but still, it's doing a, a doing a pretty decent job. I I readjusted that uh, mount that I got for the camera, and and uh, it's working out good. I'm not seeing the bouncing like I was before, or the vibration like I was before. I may have to try to readjust my uh, Elka shocks here a little bit too, see if I can maybe take tame that bouncing of the record down a little bit. But then again, this stretch of road is just, I mean, it's like, it's like going across an old washboard is what it's like. Uh, it's, it's just rougher than a cob. So anyhow, you can see me bouncing along here. You see the other picture is pretty stable. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, Great day for a ride, finally between rainstorms. I guess tomorrow we're supposed to get into the rain again. Had three or four days of thunderstorms and deluge. So I'm waiting for the locusts and the lava and the, and the frogs hopping up and down here to make a, a full meal deal. So perhaps what I should do is just shut up, let you enjoy the ride. You see the comparison. I got to tell you this, I'm impressed with the GoPro. It, it's uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm glad that I spent the money for it. Going to improve the quality of my videos greatly. Um, and I'm glad to, that I got the mount working there too for the, for the Acasio Brave 7. So please enjoy the rest of the ride. It's only about another four minutes or so here of bouncing around. And for any of you that see some other videos, you, you've all seen this all before. This is just my favorite little spot to get out of town come right on not a lot of traffic few corners few straightaways beautiful scenery yeah, any time of the year it's beautiful scenery now here we're looking east towards Wallowa Mountains and that big old thing over there on the right well that's Mount Harris that's one of those extinct volcanoes we've got around here but let me shut up here let you enjoy the ride for a little bit
Okay, here coming up shortly, there's going to be a hole in the road, and I didn't intend to hit it. I actually was trying to miss it. I was trying to get it between the front and rear tire. There it is, right there. But I went ahead and hit it, and I, and I was watching the pictures here, and I'm, I'm happy to see that it didn't profoundly affect the pictures. Uh, again, got a uh, good, good uh, mount, uh, camera mount on my helmet, and then got the mount for the the other camera working pretty good too. Now for those of you that are not familiar with my other videos of this area, this is we're heading south towards the little old town of Somerville. Nice little old spot. Got a nice place to eat there too. Um, good food friendly people, friendly atmosphere, nice atmosphere, and then if you want an adult beverage to wet your whistle, well, they can accommodate you in that regards also. So, anyhow, it's a, it's a nice little place to eat. Yeah, it's Mount Emily there on the right that I was looking at. and Then we're looking south across Grand Ron Valley. That uh, mountain way off in the distance out in front of us, well, that's uh, Craig Mountain. That's an old extinct volcano, too. It sits outside of Union, Oregon. And then off to the, to the right there, just the Blue Mountains. Off to the left, Wallowa Mountains. And what you can't see in this picture is up beyond the Blue Mountains there is the Elkhorn Mountains and we covered those in a, another video there, my cow country road trip. Nice view of Mount Harris right there. Yeah, just down at the end of this Straight away, we're, we're on right now. It's a little town of Somerville. I'm going to shut her off before then, though, so this thing isn't stupidly long for no good reason. So, anyhow, thanks for joining me today, folks. Glad you're here. Glad you're watching these. Glad you're leaving comments. And always, always like the comments. And, and uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt to, to let me know what you want to see or how you want to see it. Well, anyhow, thanks for riding along today, folks. See you on the next one.